The Malafatra is a region with a rich tradition. Hiking from Jelina as far as Zazriva will come across many traces of the past. One can learn a lot about the past of this part of Slovakia by visiting the Strechno Castle, elevated above the surrounding area. Not much has remained of its former magnitude, but what has been carefully renovated allows the visitors to learn about the rich past of the region. The Budatin Castle is gradually regaining its past greatness. Today, one can see here a very interesting collection of wire goods. It's been a traditional craft in the region, with a typical ornamenting style. A trip to the nearby Lietova Castle can also be interesting. Only ruins remain of the once huge building. And who were the oldest inhabitants of this land? Those who lived here millions of years ago. They looked more or less like this. Archaeological excavations discovered, among others, this mammal's tooth. Rafters are eager to talk about the past of the region. A wooden raft cruise down the Var River is a combination of a history lesson and relaxation. A two-hour cruise down the river around the wild, rough peaks of the Malafatra will do everyone good. Numerous churches are evidence of the rich religious life of the inhabitants of the region. An animated crib at St. Cyril and Method Church in Tiakova is worth seeing. It can be admired all year round. The church in Teplichka hides a fascinating story of Zhefia Botsnikova, the lady of the Strechno Castle, respected right until today. Folk art can be met almost everywhere, whether in Zhilina or Tiakova. Sometimes it's possible to see artists at work, in spite of the fact that today artists use very contemporary tools. Different traditions are presented at the Open Air Museum in Vikilovka. Here, apart from what we usually expect in such a place, that is, examples of old buildings, we also find a steam railway station. It's part of the former narrow gauge railway. Just a few shovels of coal, and off we go. The Malafatra is a perfect place for tourists in summer and skiers in winter. After tiring trips in the mountains, it's always pleasant to relax in a swimming pool, whether outdoor or indoor. Those looking for excitement can visit a rope park. This is an attraction for younger climbers. More experienced ones will find interesting climbing routes. However, before going into the mountains, it's good to practice indoors. The Malafatra region is rich in shepherd's traditions. Although nowadays a genuine shepherd can only be met in an open-air museum, something has remained of the old traditions. A speciality of the region is Kubacik cheese. It's made in a very interesting manner, and if someone wants to learn how to make it, he must visit the only school of such a kind in Zazriva. Mutton dishes are popular as well. Those prepared in the open air taste the best. Visiting the Malafatra, one must also try halushki, how to make them. Great potatoes, knead the dough with flour and cook, then add, for example, brinza cheese, cabbage or cracklings. Simple, yes, but delicious. However, they taste best with the sounds of a traditional folk group. <laughs> 